All right, guys, so we're once again off to the dump. Uh, this time for a different reason, it's not work-related. Well, sort of work-related, eh? Um, we knew we were possibly getting a promotion and transfer. <clears throat> Thought was we would go on vacation, come back, do relief for 10 days while the other managers were on vacation, then get sent over to where we were going. Well, um, not quite how it happened. Uh, they called us and they're like, yeah, as soon as your vacation's over, you're going to your new store. So, uh, they gave us that warning with, what, 70 hours before our plane flight? With a house full of five people. So, um, it's been a mad dash of cleaning, dis destroy well, not destroying things, but figuring out what we need and what we don't. Um, donating, throwing out, selling, and packing. Um, one of the questions that will be asked all the time is, uh, what happens, do you pay for your stuff to get moved from one northern community to another? No, uh, the company will move it. You have a routing plan. You have to go and set it all up on the skids, bring it into the airport. It gets routed to you. It can take up to two weeks. So luckily we actually are on vacation for three. So by the time we get there, our stuff should be there. Um, the boat was supposed to arrive tomorrow. It did arrive today, so we're going to take a swing by the beach on the way back just to show you guys the boat out there in the uh, bay. But there's two boats out there, so the co-op boat must be here too, or the fuel boat or something. They're both co-op boats, either which way. No, one of them's us. It's Cena. Yes, but I mean the other boat. Is yes. Whether it's fuel or co-op, it's co-op. Co yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll come by and show you that on the way back. But yeah, let's uh, go out and get rid of some of the garbage that we had. Can you stop doing that? Well, if you fuckers knew how to fix a window, <laughs> it wouldn't make that sound. So in the Arctic, you don't always have everything you need. Uh, I have a window. She has plexiglass and... Uh, Back, the back windows, but I'm, I am the one that broke the back window. Me and Ron did when we were taking the space cap off of this in the middle of the winter. Probably not the smartest time for us to do that. Um, <laughs> you don't say. But uh, that window was a kid or an adult put a rock through it. Uh, but you work with what you have. So we had plexiglass. We put plexiglass up. We were supposed to uh, caulk around it so that you didn't get the farting noises at certain speeds and certain wind. Well, it helps if you take the fucking tuck tape off too there, my friend. Well, that was Ron's idea. I have nothing to do with that. Because that's what it is, it's the tape vibrating against the window. Somebody's very sad looking tent over there, or blue over. You'll also notice that we don't have uh, license plates up here. Um, you don't really even have a license period or per se. Or insurance. Or insurance, yeah. Um, uh, licensing in Pavernitok, uh, a lot of people like my wife have the Quebec license. The town license, you just go and do an eye test, and if you're not blind, uh, you get a license. Well, let's face it, if, even if you were, you'd probably still get the license. Well, we did make the joke that I should go and do the test and see if I got a license or not. Uh, I believe it's, what, 200 bucks for the town license? 185. 185, there you go. And uh, again, there's no driving test, there's no nothing. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen third world countries that have more of a driving test because it's like, they'll make you drive in a straight line and then turn right. Well, that's more than here. Here is what letters are on that board. So, yeah. Boat full of sea canisters and cranes. Uh, I don't know. If, is that the Cinna? I can't tell. Actually, that might be the Cinna because... Well, I don't know because they have a bunch of stops after us. The Cinna's probably that one up there then. Because there's another one in the harbor right there. There's a boat that looks like it's probably going to break that doesn't have a <laughs> What she's talking about there is that uh, the Cinna was in a Nukejuak and its, it's loader died. And uh, so they'll have a tugboat on there and they'll have a bunch of barges. And what they do is they put the tugboat in the water, then they put the barges in the water, they put the sea cans on the barges and the tugboat pulls the sea cans to shore and they'll send their loader over in a on a barge as well uh, and yeah so this means that that actually neither of those are fuel vehicles now the only reason that 
comes down to something that's important is they'll only let one of them unload at a time. Please not be ours. Please not be ours. Well, I think that's ours there. I think ours is the red one. Yeah, because the Cinna has four cranes, that one only has two. So the one in front is not ours. Now, which one gets to unload first? Is the one in front closest to the harbor? I would think so, because it would be the one that got here first. I don't know, but there you go. Those are the two sea lift boats that are here. Uh, so yeah, they'll load over here in the marina. And the big 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 giant loaders and a transport truck because they'll also send a transport truck over with a giant trailer they'll bring them over to wherever they're being loaded put them in place uh, they'll be here for X amount of hours and you have that much time to unload if you don't unload in time then you're paying rental on the sea canister until the next year so uh, as you guys know we have the sea lift here uh, the boats are here so I was wrong it wasn't the NV boat it was the co-op boat uh, today the co-op boat started uh, unloading. Our boat started unloading at the same time. So both boats are trying to unload in the same marina and it's insanity. There's barges everywhere, there's loaders everywhere, there's diesel trucks everywhere. It's insanity. Um, so today they did not get any of our sea cans out. Um, it is now Tuesday uh, evening. Uh, again, we go on vacation on Thursday morning. Uh, we fly out of PUV and we're not coming back. We have a new adventure going on. We, uh, my wife has been promoted and technically I have as well. So we are moving on to another community. Uh, we thought we were coming back here and we would do, we would do relief Hello. and then move. But uh, that's not the way it's going. We are going to do that stuff and then going straight to the next place. Um, so we have one day to get as much stuff out of 15 sea canisters as we can. Normally we, because, uh, there are some stores that are spoiled where they can do everything in pallet jacks and lifts and stuff. Like, uh, my brother-in-law who has been on this, sh this channel a few times doing some reviews, uh, his store is south of us in Nukjoak. They have pallet jacks to do everything. So they can unload 10 sea canisters in like six or seven hours. Uh, everything here is done by hand, so if you have a sea canister that weighs seven tons, you're unloading seven tons of stuff by hand into the warehouses. Uh, so normally you can get three to four sea cans done in a day, and that's like a ten-hour day almost, um, depending on what's in it. I mean, if it's if it's furniture and stuff, you can get five sea cans unloaded in a couple hours. If it's pop where every skid of pop has something like 800 cases of pop on it and sugars and uh, noodles and stuff like that. It takes a long time. So we're going to see how much we can get off because once we go, the store is down two managers and then a couple days after we leave, the store manager and grocery manager that are here right now, they go out as well. Um, however, their relief is coming in on the 15th. It's one guy coming in on the 15th to help them. So we'll get as much done as we can tomorrow and whatever they can't get done on the 14th, they will have help on the 15th. So I will be bringing my phone because I'm the DJ for the line and I'll try and do some videos while we're there to show you what it's like. Anyway, see you soon. Well guys, it's the day. It's the day. It's the last day of work here in PUV for us. Uh, we fly out tomorrow, and like we talked about today, is sea lift day. Um, I did wake up a little late. I don't think they've been delivering anything yet. Uh, I heard their, I heard their vehicles last night at like midnight in town. The big old, uh, the big old like ten ton loaders and the and the air braked. Uh, uh, Oh, they can't have big rigs, so I'm thinking they were picking up our empty sea cans yesterday, which will be kind of funny if they did because we weren't there to show them which ones we have actually bought from them in the past. Uh, they did this last year too. They came and they took them early, and then we uh, we had to get them to come back because they had kept ones that were actually ours. Uh, 
I'm looking out the door, it looks like I have picked up some Z-Cans. Uh, is the one here still here? Yeah, okay. So we won't... Sh but... Well, over there you can see some blue Z-Cans and all that. That is where we will be working. Um, yeah, so let's go to work. Well, I got a few hours left of working here, and uh, they still haven't delivered a Z-Can, so... I'm still not doing C-Lift. You're still not seeing what C-Lift looks like. Well, my shift is almost done. Mias still has not delivered any of our shipment, so, uh, and the garbage truck still isn't on the road, so another garbage run. So, they're here with the construction stuff, not the stuff I want though, so, you know, I've made jokes the whole last few months that I wasn't going to have to do C-Lift, apparently I don't have to do C-Lift. No, that one's construction material. Uh, you mean the reservation? Yeah. Oh, oh, is it, are they gonna hit the house? What, you still want to sleep in there for what day? Still more stuff getting dropped off. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do this. So. My uh, time at this store is over. Uh, my shift is done. This was my last day. But I've decided to be nice and go on um, lock duty. So by lock duty, I mean exactly what it sounds like. I'm locking these sea cans as they get dropped off. Uh, since I didn't end up having to do sea lift because they didn't start dropping things off until an hour before my shift was over and they didn't start dropping off the stuff we needed for the store. This is all renovation equipment and materials. So, um, there's 10 of these sea cans. They've delivered five so far, plus whatever is over on the trailer there, which looks like two more. So six and seven. Uh, he's just waiting for the big loader to get here. And, uh, yeah. When the big loader gets here, we'll go out and lock them up. Uh, now the thing with these sea canisters is they're full-size sea canisters. Uh, anywhere from six to 10,000 pounds of things. And most of them, I mean, there are a few that will be like three and four. Uh, furniture usually doesn't weigh as much because you can't fit as much furniture in the sea cans as pop and everything else. Uh, on top of that, we don't have any special equipment. It's a line of people doing it by hand. So when you get a sea canister that's filled with 10,000 pounds of pop and there's like 600 to 800 cases of pop per skid because it goes from, from the ground to the top, um, it takes a while to empty it and you are fucking tired by the time you're done. You wouldn't think you would be. Oh, it's just pop. Oh, it's just this. Oh, it's just when all you're doing is moving things for eight hours it doesn't matter if they only weigh like 15 pounds you are fucking tired so the big one showed up Ooh, that does not seem where that one is.
All right. They know we need to get into the house, right? If they keep scoping those forward, we're not getting in or out anymore. It's... <laughs> Okay, let's go put a lock on. So I had to go inside and grab another lock because apparently this time they brought three. I missed the uh, I missed the big loader coming, and because I missed the big loader coming, I missed the fact that he was actually <laughs> carrying a sea can down the street, and the trailer had two on it, and he had a, one on it. So we got another lock. Let's go lock this up. Uh, I'm waiting on one more unless he dropped it behind the house. So we'll go check that out. Bye, guys. Okay, so we are what? We're about 14 or 15 hours away from leaving PUV for the last time. Doing one last dump run. Uh, tried to get some stuff away for free, nobody wanted it, so off to the dump it goes. We left some stuff at the house for the house's next inhabitants. And yeah, that's the one thing about this job is when you move into a house, there's always new toys that have been left from the people before you. Because it just costs so much to move things. Um, you leave in a rush. <laughs> yeah, or like us, you kind of leave in a rush. I mean, we had three days. Some people only get one day, but we also have five. Well, there's five of us. We do have five kids, but there's three of us, three kids here. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow when we are on our way out.